One ring for each life lost. To remember the shop assistant, the mechanic, the housewife, the school children, the unborn twins. The list goes on of the ordinary people who went out shopping in a country town and fell victim to the worst single atrocity of the troubles. After the final chime, at the time of the explosion, Omer fell completely silent. How different it was two decades ago. Bye. The bomb went off. Okay. And everything just was gone. The anarchy that was left behind. You had water flying everywhere. You had people squealing. And the smell of burning flesh as something that I will carry with me to my grave. Kevin Skelton lost his wife, Mina, that day. He thought his daughters had died too. After hours of searching, he found Tracy unharmed, Shauna badly hurt. The hardest thing I had to do after that was go down to Derry Hospital and tell her that her mummy was dead. You know, it's how do you tell your own child? That's the hardest thing ever I had to do. Across the town of Omar, survivors, relatives and first responders were living out nightmares. The bombers had sent a warning with the wrong location, so police directed shoppers towards danger. And I looked down at my feet and I saw a body at my feet. And then when I looked around the street, I could see more here, here, here. Richard's job was to deal with the dead. Each of the bodies we brought up and we placed them from the stairs right across. So we had rows of maybe three or four bodies uh, and we kept bringing the bodies up until such a time as the sentry was full right out to here. Omer has this garden now to remember the victims. But while bereaved families won a civil case against four real IRA members, there have been no criminal convictions and the fight for a public inquiry goes on. Not only does this town feel let down by a lack of justice, many feel forgotten too. Richard told me he struggled with post-traumatic stress for the rest of his police career, but got little support. Kevin came close to suicide. Both men now reach out to others. The need at the minute is more than it was back 20 years ago. Why is that? There's people coming forward who have never come out and uh, that have never spoken about what has happened to them, not only regarding Noma Bomb, but other atrocities. This community doesn't need an anniversary to be reminded of the price it has paid, the physical and emotional toll of terrorism. Omar will never forget. Tessa Chapman, Five News.